hi welcome now i am going to show you how to remove or delete pivot table cache or underlying data inside the pivot table okay so what i have here is about 277 records of uh, uh, product customer category and country and their uh, respective sales this is our source data okay i selected this source data i am going to uh, build a pivot table insert pivot table okay once uh, i selected the pivot table it shows uh, selected table or range the table or range is the full uh, pivot table okay uh, uh, full source data okay then choose where you want the pivot table report to be placed i want the pivot table report to be placed in the new worksheet okay fine okay so now have this have uh, uh, this has two uh, sections one is the pivot table report where the pivot table is going to be shown okay this part and other one is the pivot table field list pan okay from this pan whatever you select it is going to reflect in the pivot table report okay I select a product and uh, the sales of January and the category in column okay so what I'm going to do the row labels to products and the column labels is category okay this is my pivot table I already okay created now okay so now the sales January sales okay January sales now the pivot table you can see I also put the customer as the report filter you can see it in the uh, report filter all the customers are coming okay okay now what I'm going to do I'm going to change the source data okay probably the solid uh, SOLID okay the solid uh, it's where I here this solid okay so I'm going to use and uh, change it to bolid okay so I just uh, change uh, solid to bolid okay which is uh, solid is in only one uh, record here okay already I checked the uh, solid uh, it's, there is no more record of solid only one bolid uh, solid is there so I change to bolid now once i change the source data if you go to the pivot table see whether it is changed ball it is there no no ball it but so solid is still there okay that means what the pivot table is already created with the source data while creating the pivot table it is also taking the snapshot of the data at that time right a copy of the data is attached to the pivot table so whenever you do the calculations the copy only is used the underlying data or the cache only used to, to create the pivot table but it is not uh, um, uh, whenever you update the uh, pivot table data it is not reflected on the pivot table okay it is no more connected to the source data it is only it is connected but uh, uh, no more using the uh, source data but it is only using the cache data okay it is uh, just uh, the connection which it has with the source data is just a uh, uh, connection as and when you want to refresh the data it's nothing else okay it is not interacting with the source data again and again only when you press the refresh it will interact with the source data okay what i will do I show you refresh okay so when you refresh you can see it here the solid is no more there okay it moved to the next item whereas the
okay the body does come now okay the new item okay this way it is uh, now it is connected to the source data when you refresh it fix the uh, uh, data and put it again into the underlying data okay the underlying data is modified now that's why it shows the uh, correct updation okay so now the question here is that is the possible to remove this underlying data okay yes it is possible but why do we want to do the removal of the cache or the underlying data why do we want to do this because if you have uh, multiple uh, uh, pivot tables for uh, multiple source data the workbook becomes bulkier okay it is just a copy of the source data okay so but uh, you may not use all the um, uh, all the pivot tables at one time okay but you are keeping all the data in the cache okay so the workbook is uh, bigger as well as the cache is bigger and the cache memory is bigger so the other calculations are sm uh, slower okay so you want to keep the workbook size smaller as well as the uh, other operations faster okay we we want to remove the cache okay if you want to remove the cache what you need to do is that uh, right click go to pivot table options you can see the data here and uh, save source data with the file okay this is the pivot table data okay so you just uncheck this and press ok okay then save it you go out file open the pivot table uh, workbook again now you can see when you press something on the pivot table it says the pivot table report was saved without the underlying data okay the underlying data is no more there use the refresh data command to update the report okay so that means you cannot do anything now other than the last display of the pivot table image okay the data so what you need to do is you you need to refresh now okay now you can do whatever you want on the pivot table okay this way when you want to use the pivot table that time you can bring the underlying data from the source data just update it and uh, whenever you close the pivot table then there is nothing w will be saved with the pivot table okay and uh, those which are not refreshed there is no cache at all you see so you are keeping the cache memory lesser and the file size also lesser so the performance is higher okay now i just uh, close it i just again open it you see the again it shows the same thing okay so whenever you use uh, you you want to use it you refresh it okay now the question comes before that i will refresh now the question comes that when i open the worksheet uh, is it possible to refresh automatically yes okay so you have uh, about uh, five or six or ten of uh, pivot tables but uh, you want to see only one pivot table every time when you open the worksheet workbook the others as and when you you want it you refresh it okay those who which you want to see it when you open the workbook to refresh automatically you can do it by right click on the pivot table pivot table options data then refresh data when opening the file okay so you just put a refresh data when you opening the file now close it save close it now again I'm going to open it okay this time when you do the operation it is possible because it refresh already while opening it okay so this is the way you can uh, remove the 
uh, cache or in underlying data from the workbook okay i hope uh, this video is helpful to you and uh, uh, if you like my videos just uh, press uh, subscribe button on the screen now and uh, leave your comments and suggestions and god bless you